Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ntemi Eli and it, ha it has always been an honor and love for the support that you people have always bestowed towards me ever since I started this great journey. So if you're first time here, I just invite you to this great family that we're building from. We started building from scratch back in last year and I'm very hopeful that we're getting somewhere and I'm pretty sure up to this point you're getting to learn one or two things on how to deal with your issues, be it in relationship, be it in social life, and many more so today we want to have another good conversation like uh, the lies that people tell and how to deal with it could be a partner it could be your man woman and uh it's better to be specific we want to talk about them six uh, them lies that uh women talk and how to curb them yeah you know it's very difficult to know whether somebody's lying to you or not and uh what if you get to know that she was lying to you how do you or rather how do you work on that lie how do you sort it out so straight to the video and uh, the first thing to know that uh, this woman is telling lies to me is uh, when she answers a question with a question you know when somebody is not ready to uh, to lie to you it, it, it will really call upon for some time to think on the better answer that uh, he, he or she is supposed to give it to you. So when you ask her a simple question like, Hey babe, where were you last night? Let's say maybe you people are not in good terms then after some time. The uh, communication was killed uh, probably during the dark hours and you ask her during the day, Where were you last night? Then she's there replying, Where do you think I was? Instead of just telling you, Babe, I was here at this time doing this and this and that's why I couldn't maybe pick your call, maybe I couldn't talk with you here. But instead of just giving you the simple answer, she's there complicating things with another question. Where do you think I was? So she's throwing the question back to you. That person is trying to tell you that there's no defined answer, there's no ready answer to give to you. So she needs time to work on the lie that will work upon this like that's just telling you and um, don't be in a hurry at the end of the, this video I'll tell you on how to curb this kind of life the second uh, flag or rather the second sign that will show this person is lying to you is when she takes a lot of time to reply I mean to give you an answer you've, uh, you've just we've just talked about uh, not uh, answering a question directly but answering a question with a question so the time that these people take uh, before she gives you an answer is basically to think on something that will work out to convince you that indeed here is where I was and I was doing this thing and thing uh, because I don't expect uh, your woman, your partner to take time to answer on a simple question like what are you doing with somebody? Then she's there like uh, maybe it could be a text. She's taking five, ten minutes before she re uh, responds to that text. It's a red flag. That person is trying to formulate a story to calm your question. So whenever somebody takes a lot of time or some time to answer your question, that person is planning a lie. So be very observant when uh, you get to yourself in such like situation. Another reason could be another reason could be why uh, another another sign to show that she's not she is not speaking the truth and she's lying to you is. Uh, the, tr when, the lies are not consistent you know when you want to know somebody's lying to you try to ask one question in three different versions and when you get two different answers that's a lie so uh, maybe you know you need to lie as uh, you need to create a story that is consistent with the previous lie that you told an individual and uh, in case of course people forget that they lied so in case you get another different story from the one that she told you the other time or he told you the other time then that is a lie babe where were you i was with john then john is your friend later on you come and ask her but where were you on friday then she's there telling you i was with my cousin james do you think what i think yes you're right she's lying to you because at first she told you she was with your friend john the other time she's telling you that she was with her cousin james as the third time 
she will not tell you the same thing. It could be she will now tell you, I was with my friend Faith. And um, it's a clear indicator that, you know what, this person is now speaking the truth. So, whenever you're planning to lie, your lies should be very consistent. They should merge, they should be mad. You get, hakuna wenye utaniambia story mbili tofauti, kulingana na swali moja nye nikuliza then nikuamini yo iwezi. So that's the first sign that, you know what, this person is lying to me. Another good reason to know that you're being lied to. I'm not talking about cheating. Of course, it's lies that raises the foundation of cheating. Another reason to know that this person is lying is when she has no answers for simple questions. No answers for simple questions. You know, when you people have started a relationship, when you people have started uh, falling for each other, there's some things that should not take decades. There's some things that should never miss an answer like babe how was your day then my day was not good why i don't know or kwa huko nasema ngai ni aje umekuwa aje kwa aje hivyo tu po ndio nini i mean try to give us a brief on how your day was and if it uh, maybe i'm asking uh, about what happened the other night like kijana atukuongea kwani ulikuwa wapi nilikuwa tu ulikuwa tu ndio wapi no nilikuwa nimefanya hivi na hivi na hivi but the moment unaanza nilikuwa tu then i slept and this how my phone went silent or my my phone went low why could it you communicate that your battery is almost shutting down when in first century there's some things that should never be an excuse so when you start hearing of that kind of things yes your guess is as good as mine she is lying to me one and the last major thing that you should always look at to know that somebody is lying to you is the body language. Uh, this, I'm talking this when, uh, when you're communicating one on one. And when I'm talking about the body language is consider about the eyes, the hands, where the, you know, when somebody is not sure of what he or she is saying, the eye contact will not be that intense. She'll be looking at you looking the other side looking because guilt is, has already started writ, uh, being written on the face like you, can, you you could just see this person is not consistent on whatever he or she is saying so the moment you're asking your woman hey babe where were you last night then she's like no babe i was just there i was just at home no you're not at home so the body language will really tell you that this person is not speaking the truth this person is cooking a story to convince you that uh if she was somewhere that maybe you could consider whatever she's telling but the body language tells you so much when she starts scratching her head scratching the back she's not just comfortable uh, being next to you then yeah it's a clear indicator that this person is lying to you so now that you know what the signs to show that a woman is lying to you how can you handle them uh, lies because uh, First, you've asked her uh, where she was. She has not given you the right answer. Uh, you've seen the body language and everything. So, one, one of the best ways to curb these lies is concentrate on her eye contact when, you're, when, you're, when you people are conversing. And um, it, it will also tell you whether this person cheated you or not because somebody who has cheated on you will never look at you directly on the eyes. Trust me. Jama ametoka kuchita. Ata wanaume umuangalie tu hivi vizuri bebu mekwa wapi. O jama ata kuangalia kwa macho kabisa. Kuna venye lazima ajitete. O bebu nilikuwa nimeenda kucheza FIFA. Bebu nilikuwa nimeenda sujiwa wapi. Tulikuwa na dance crew. Tulikuwa tunabond. That's a lie. So, concentrate on the eyes. Like the body language really matters and be very firm when you're asking these kind of questions and then the other thing to curb less now that you've known that she's lying to you lay the foundation very straight like be very firm on what you're going to decide babe i always trusted you on this and this but uh, at the end of the day i've come to realize that you are lying to me because this story that you told me the other time is not matching to the story that you've told me this time and is not matching with this so that means you're lying to me and can part ways yeah because somebody who is used to lying will never stop lying i think when you start 
uh, when it starts running in blood, there's no point that she or she, he or she will stop. That thing will keep on going, going on and on. Yeah, those are my points. And uh, yeah, I can always hear your opinion in the comment section. It's very open. You can share with us what you think, like them signs that will show this person is lying to you. And yeah, you can always, if you want to have a conversation with me, you can follow me on Instagram, Timmy, underscore Ellie. And we'll have a better conversation over the same. See you next time. I'll be your host, Timmy, and have a good evening.